The 6900 XT looks like it's going to be really hard to get and make sure to protect your 30 series cards because they're getting swiped. No, this is mine. You can't have this. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So the RX 6900 XT is about to launch, and if what I'm hearing is true, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get your hands on any stock day one. Now, there are a multitude of reasons why I'm stating this, and I think this all started with an Overclockers.ru article that was posted over on Videocards.com, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But in the article, they stated that apparently there wasn't going to be any custom cards until early 2021. And so to me, that means that, you know, there's probably going to be some pretty low stock on day one, because if you look at the RTX 3080 launch, you know, as bad as it was, there was custom cards available as well. And so if only the reference version of the RX 6900 XT is going to be available on launch day, well, that just makes it even more difficult to get your hands on it. And then I heard from Paul over at Not an Apple Fan, which, by the way, you should go subscribe to him. But he told me sources were telling him that apparently they're expecting about 50% of the RX 6800 XT stock on day one for the 6900 XT. And we all know how difficult it was to get the 6800 XT as that launch was somewhat of a disaster because, you know, not only was the stock incredible, incredibly low and the demand extremely high, but I think the way AMD handled the launch was just pretty poor overall. You had people going over on Twitter saying, from AMD saying like, oh look, I got one and it was easy. Yeah, that was a really bad look for AMD. So if it's going to be even more difficult to get a 6900 XT than a 6800 XT, well, it's going to be incredibly difficult for day one shoppers. And now personally, I think there's also a couple other reasons as to why it'll be very difficult to get. So I think starting off with the binning of the GPUs, now if you look at the 6900 XT versus the 6900 6800 XT. The 6900 XT has the exact same power draw at 300 watts as the 6800 XT, yet it has eight more compute units. So obviously that's better silicon on the 6900 XT, which could mean that it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult for them to produce that card as not every single card that they produce is going to meet that cutoff. And a lot of those are probably going to end up having to be 6800 XTs or even 6800. So as with everything, you know, the top end chip, the biggest chip with the most shaders and the best power draw characteristics is always the most difficult to produce, especially when you're producing your first batch of GPUs. Now, another reason as to why it's probably going to be pretty difficult to get these things is that, you know, back when AMD was making the orders for these GPUs, they were probably expecting significantly less demand for a $1,000 GPU because, let's face it, there's way more people who spend $200 to maybe even $500 in a GPU than spend $1,000. So, you seeing how little stock there's available of a $580 GPU, I would have to imagine that AMD probably didn't expect to order enough thousand dollar GPUs and it's going to be even more difficult to get your hands on it. And then finally the holiday shipping delays could make it even more difficult for you because even if they went ahead and ordered a bunch more supply after seeing how quickly everything sold out, well it takes a while for that to go into effect and it seems like there's been more and more shipping delays happening. I've had a couple orders myself be delayed. I'm seeing over on Newegg that you know after I think the 24th on a lot of small uh, packages there's going to be delay in shipping by a week so that could make it even more difficult but there is a chance that there could actually be more supply and here are the reasons. So, you know, technically they could have been saving up more dies since the launch of the 6800 series. So maybe they have been saving up a bunch of 6900 XTs and they will be more ready this time. It's definitely a possibility, though I don't think that's probably going to happen. And then the other reason why there could potentially be a better chance for you to get a 6900 XT than a 6800 XT or 6800 is the fact that, well, the 6900 XT is worth more. So I think, you know, AMD would probably want to sell more of those GPUs. I mean, if you look at the RTX 3090 versus the RTX 3080, you'll see that the RTX 3090 does seem to be coming in stock far more frequently, and that could just be down to the fact that, you know, maybe a lot more 3090s are able to meet the cut, and so they don't have to cut them down to 3080s, but it also could be that, you know, the 3090 is worth $1,500, and the 3080 is worth, what, $700? So, you know, that's a lot more money in NVIDIA's pockets, a lot more money it, uh, in the pocket of places like Newegg, so there's a lot more incentive for them to sell you a much, much more pricey card, though. You know, that being said, I think all the reasons that I talked about earlier as to why it might be more difficult are probably uh, more likely. So I don't think you're going to be able to have a good chance of getting the 6900 XT. So if you absolutely really want one, there, there are a couple techniques that you can try to do to try and get one on day one. Now, obviously, it's going to be incredibly difficult to fight bots online. But, you know, if you are stuck to doing things online, which I think the majority of you will be, well, the only thing that you can really do is, you know, wake up before these things launch, be F5ing, have a, you know, um, be following bots over on Twitter. 
Twitter and Discord for these new cards, such as the RTX bot, or I think they go by the name of Supply Drop bot. Um, you could also be just having a bunch of different tabs open. Now, you could try and line up outside of a micro center. That does seem to be the most effective method of getting new graphics cards. But my only problem with this is that I don't know if micro center is actually going to be holding a card that's this expensive. A lot of times in the past, when I went to micro center to look for a very expensive GPU, they didn't really hold them. Now, things might have changed since then. I mean, I'm talking about the GTX 10 series days. So, you know, who knows? Maybe they will be holding the 6900 XT on launch. Maybe they'll have like three or maybe even 10 of them in the store. But it seems like typically they don't like to hold really high value items in the store that are just single components because, frankly, they don't really sell a whole lot of them. So that might not be a good strategy. You could end up waiting like 24 hours at Micro Center and not getting anything. But hey, it's definitely an option. If they if you know someone who's telling you we're going to have 6900 XTs, I think that's basically your maybe only chance of getting a 6900 XT on day one because fighting the bots online, while it's certainly possible to get one, it's going to be very, very difficult. Now, real quick, before we move on to the next story, I just want to touch on the performance of the 6900 XT as a lot of people might be interested in that and it is going to be coming out very shortly here. So uh, the only performance information that we've had shared online that I can talk about comes from videocards.com where they shared a tweet from uh, Tom Appisack where apparently in Geekbench 5, the 6900 XT was 12% faster than the 6900 800 XT, so that's pretty impressive. And then the other thing that was shared was Tom Episac also shared an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark showing the 6900 XT paired with a i7 8700K. And in that benchmark, it seems that it's severely CPU bottleneck. So I think that this one is probably a little less useful in terms of gauging how fast this card is going to be, as obviously running the Ashes of the Singularity benchmark with an 8700K at 1080p was such a high end GPU, you're almost certainly bound to run into some CPU bottlenecks there. And it does look like that's the case. So you know, my thoughts overall is that, you know, the 6900 XT will likely fall just short of the RTX 3090 and only be about 5% faster than the RTX 3080 at 4K because the Ampere GPUs just simply dominate at that 4K resolution. They scale very, very well. And then in terms of 1440p, you'll probably see it get a little bit better performance there. You might even see it matching a 3090. And then with overclocking and smart access memory enabled at 1440p, the 6900 XT will likely be the fastest GPU you can get your hands on. So if you're a 1440p gamer, and you don't care about ray tracing that much because, you know, frankly, NVIDIA still has a better cards for their ray tracing performance and you don't really care about DLSS because you want to run the native resolution, well, then the 6900 XT will almost certainly be the fastest 1440p GPU, at least after some overclocking. Now, the final story I want to talk about is pretty wild and it comes from Twitter user at GoFlying8 and according to him, an MSI Chinese mainland factory had 40 boxes full of RTX 3090s stolen. Now, that equates to apparently $337,000 roughly and they're offering a reward of over fifteen thousand dollars for any information on who could have possibly taken these gpus and it looks like you know if you do the math if we say that the rtx 3090s that were stolen are worth maybe sixteen hundred dollars a piece so hundred dollars over msrp well then that would bring you to over 210 rtx 3090s that were stolen which is a pretty huge amount and my thoughts on the whole thing is that this is going to do an enormous amount of damage to msi because you know these aib partners don't really make a whole lot of money off of every single sale so if you're losing out on $337,000 just in one day, well, that's going to be really hard to recover from, and it's going to do a lot of damage to their business. Now, my second thought is this is absolutely ridiculous, and I cannot believe this actually happened. We're in a day and age now where apparently, you know, GPUs are like gold, and people are going out and doing heists to try and get them, so I just... This really blows my mind. And, and then, like I guess say, this could hurt supply even more because, you know, it's already really constrained. And if you were looking for an RTX 3090, which, by the way, I highly suggest that you do not buy an RTX 3090s. They are incredibly expensive. So if you absolutely, unless you absolutely need that 24 gigabytes of VRAM for something, if you're just gaming, I highly suggest you avoid spending $1,500 on a gaming GPU. But if you were looking forward to doing that, well, it looks like supply is going to get potentially more constrained going forward here because over 23090s were just taken apparently. And then finally, I just don't know how this happened. How did someone get into a factory and steal over 200 RTX 3090s? I mean, was there an inside guy? I, I don't know what happened here. I don't know how there wasn't any security to stop this, but I think going forward, MSI is probably going to up their security. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RX 6900 XT? You think the supply is going to be even worse than the 6800 XT, or do you think you'll have a decent chance of getting one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.